Hey guys, this is Paracord Geek, and I'm here today to show you guys how to make just the normal Cobra Stitch Paracord bracelet. Now, the supplies you're going to need to make this are just some kind of cutting tool. Um, I'm going to use scissors in this video. You can use a knife, um, whatever you prefer. You're going to need a lighter. I'm going to use a Zippo lighter in this video. I just like it a little better because you can just flick it and it just keeps going. And then you're gonna need some kind, something um, like this, just to rub your excess melted paracord onto. Um, just something you don't really care about very much. And then you're gonna need a tape measure. I'm not gonna use it in this video, and you'll see why in just a second. You're gonna need a buckle, because in this video I'm gonna show you how to use a buckle with it. And then you're gonna need paracord, of course. Now this is the reason why I'm not gonna use it. Um, so you're gonna take. Um, both ends of these, of each side of your paracord, and you're, what you're going to do is you're going to cut from uh, each color of paracord, whatever you want, um, every inch of your wrist that you have, you're going to cut a foot of that. So since there's two colors, like these two colors, in this bracelet I'm making, um, there's going to be eight feet in total, so four feet in each color of the paracord that you have. Um, so make sure you have well, how many ever inches you, uh, your, end, your wrist is. That's how many feet of paracord you're going to have in total, not on each color. So what you're going to do, is going to get your lighter going here. Like that. And then you're just going to melt these two pieces of paracord. Just melt them together really nicely. It's okay if they catch on fire. Some brands of paracord catch on fire, some don't. And when they're melted, just push them together nice and tightly. Like this. Put your flame out. And rip that excess melted part off. Just keep pushing it together like this. Just make sure it's nice and tight, pull the other on it, pull nice and strongly. Alright, so now that's together, what you're going to do is you're going to get your buckle, and then whatever side you want showing, well, you're, first you're going to throw this piece to the side, and then whatever part you want showing, like this one, this part here, whatever color you want showing is what you're going to loop through. So this one I want red showing, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch the red like this, and then I'm going to go through the buckle, um, through the bottom side. I'm just going to kind of wedge it up there, and just push that, push as hard as you can, just kind of get it through there. And then once it gets through, just pull it out, and then so you have this. And then you're going to go over, like this, pull these back, and then pull it tight, like that. So then you have your two colors attached to your buckle. And then you're going to take these and then separate it, and then keep it evenly the whole way through until you get to the two ends. And then you're going to take your other side, and then you're going to go through the bottom, and through the bottom of the other one, like this, and then you're going to pull it all the way down to the other end. Now, I'm going to take off my bracelet, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure my wrist. So I'm going to go, I'm going to put this one around my wrist here. I'm going to take it off screen real quick so you can just do it. I'm not going to clip it together. You don't need to, just make sure. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you have a little bit of excess space around. Now it's a little bit too much. You might not be able to see this very good. But make sure there's about an inch of excess space off the other side. Like this. 
and then so now that you have this, you're gonna make sure you have that same size that you had before, and don't don't lose that size. You want to keep that. So then you have your two colors. Separate this out here. So you have that. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of these colors, um, and then whatever color. Here, I'm, actually, I'm gonna flip it around in the front to make it a little easier. Switch these. So whatever color you want showing the most is the one you're gonna cross over. So right now, I want the red to show the most. So I'm gonna cross over. I'm gonna make a little loop here on this side. I'm gonna cross over. And then make sure that goes underneath the blue. And then, I'm gonna come underneath the bracelet with the blue. And then back up through this little loop I made with the red. And then you're just gonna pull that tight. Like this. And then you're going to do the same thing, except on the other side. Make sure you're doing the same thing the whole time with the same color. So you're going to come over, make that little loop. Make sure it's underneath the blue. You're going to go underneath the bracelet with the blue. Come back up. Pull it through. And then you're just going to pull it tight. And I'm going to show it to you one more time. So over with the red. So that is on top of the bracelet, and then you're going to go underneath there, underneath the bracelet, show you the knot up close, and then pull it up through here, like that, and then just pull that tight. And then you're going to keep doing that until you get here. So once you're here, what you're going to do is you're going to flip it to the back side, like this, and then just take it like that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the middle, middle color, and then pull that out on the top there, so you have that little loop. And then you're gonna take the next one on the inside, and then pull that loose, like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna tuck that underneath there. Same thing with this one. Tuck it underneath, like so. And then what you're gonna do. So you're going to take that, and then you're going to pull this one out over here, and then pull that tight. So make sure that is nice and tight. And then you're going to lift these up, and then pull this one out, and then tuck these underneath there. And then pull this tight on this side. And then pull this one out. Now this is going to be the last one I'm going to do. You only need to do about three. Unless you want it to be super secure. So after it's tucked under there about three times, you're going to pull it back tight. So pull that tight. You know, and then you're just going to work your way back up to what you just did. Back up. Pull that tight. This up. And then... I'm going to pull that, and then I'm going to tighten both these up, pull both of them tight down under here that are tucked. So now we have that. And then you're going to get your scissors, or knife, whatever, and then you're going to cut it with about a quarter of an inch of tag hanging off. You're not going to need this, just throw that away. So you have that. With about that quarter inch of tag hanging off. And you're going to use your lighter again. Oh. And then you're going to burn those edges there. But, and then I like to flip it around. And then I'm going to flip it to this side. So make sure that both of the sides are burned evenly. Alright, once that's burned, you're going to get your cloth here, and then you're going to take it, and you're going to push down very hard under that cloth. Put my flame out real quick. You're going to keep pushing down under that cloth as hard as you can. And just keep going for about 20 seconds or so. 
And then once that's done, what you're going to do is you're going to rip, rip it off of there. It might be kind of hard. Just depends how long you let it sit. And then you have that two burned edges there. And then your paracord bracelet. So that is how to make a cobra stitch paracord bracelet. Check out my channel. Um, I've got other cool stuff on there. Um, and then I'm going to keep making new videos, how-tos. Um, so just keep checking out my channel. And thanks for watching.